Let's have a look at this very nice early 19th century American geography book in its original modeled calf binding like so. These kind of bindings are, are very nice. They're typical of the era. The smooth spine that's gilt ruled into compartments, the contrasting dark red Morocco title label with the lettering and a little bit of flourish gilt decoration like so remains sound and tight. This uh, kind of toning with this very uh, vague sp spotting is also quite typical for American books of this era. We see on the title page it is 1812 Boston Thomas and Andrews. It's the uh, great Jedediah Morse, the father of American geography. Geography made easy uh, so it's, this is for instructing uh, school uh, children in the lessons and information about geography. Here we have the world in double hemispheres, which is interesting because New Holland, we see here, has a very interesting outline shape that is attached to the island of Van Diemen there. Uh, which is erroneous, of course. There's some misfolding on the map, but it is complete, uh, so that's very good news. <laughs> and after the preface, which is interesting here, is we see a female's in sig uh, in uh, inscription, a signature, Sarah. I can't read her last name, but there it is, a woman on this book. Uh, okay. And here's the table of contents, which talks about Michigan Territory, Indiana, Illinois Territory, Columbia Territory. Yeah, you'll notice that there, of course, is no Texas yet, and it's a district of Maine. Bermuda still referred to as Summers Islands. And there's also this second map here of North America which is kind of a nice map. It's very interesting. It is uh, from the latest discoveries in 1806. It has the mythical kingdom of Quivira and Tuguayo here. Those are two apocryphal locations that supposedly had riches and they were kingdoms. You'll notice quite a profusion of place names here. Captain Cook has at this point already explored all along through here. Uh, so, and it's, yes, just very nice early map of North America. And there it is. Jedediah Morse was also somewhat strongly opinionated and biased in his discussions of geography. Uh, and so that is reflected without question throughout here. It's well preserved. Just a nice sound example of an early 19th century American geography book. And it is available now online from me, Brian DeMambro.